So, look where I am and what I've got. Chance for us to celebrate that we're through the worst of these things and, as you can see, the clubhouse is open. I just wanted to speak to you today and let you know where we are and what we're up to and how we're going to open up the clubhouse to members in the next weekend. In fact, in just three days' time as I record this. First of all, I suppose the first bit we should talk about is that we should all be thankful that we've mainly come through this unscathed and that, as far to the best of our knowledge, our membership and our staff have uh, come through fit and healthy. And now we can all be thankful that we can change more to be what is a bit more of a celebration of getting back to what is the new norm, as we all talk about. Operationally, we're opening up and what you can't see from this shot is that we've got a one-way system and all the things necessary to be able to operate within the government guidelines and still provide members the beer, the wine and the great food that we always enjoy. What you'll see now is a video filmed by our one and only Tony One Shot and that's not referring to his golf, that's referring to how many recordings we had to make of this uh, video but it'll show you what to expect when you arrive at the club over the next few weeks as we operate a one-way system and a full booking system to make sure that you can enjoy once again what we've always wanted to do a pint of Tony's beer and unfortunately I haven't got it in front of me but one of Simon's wonderful steaks Welcome back to the Royal Corinthian after a long delay and lockdown. When you arrive for your pre-booked table inside, if you'd like to sanitise your hands first of all, fully automatic, so no problem, no touching anything. We will then take your temperature, check your details and your booking, and then we'll take you through, following the one-way arrows, to your table. Okay, if you'd like to follow the one-way arrows, around to your table and for these purposes we use table 7 we may well have taken your drinks orders en route but if you want to have a think about it or order your food or any other drinks there is a phone number which you can text or phone to do that if you then require the toilets which I'm sure some of you may well do there is follow the arrows out to the toilets. There is a strict one in, one out system. And if you need to get back to your table or you want to exit the building, if you go round those arrows, round through the back door, and round to the front again, in. So we've seen the video now. I hope that helps you get an idea of how it's going to work. One way, and as the RYA have been saying to us, be considerate, be conservative, and get used to the fact that it's not going to be that easy to start off with. What we're really looking for from everybody is a bit of info, input, some feedback on how we can make this system work better for you and for the staff. So a bit of feedback on that. What do I want to leave you with? The final bit, which is our determination to make sure that we can make the impact and the ongoing impact of COVID as minimal as possible on the way we operate. We're determined to get some racing underway. Next weekend, we'll probably have wind that allows us to do that. At the moment, it's going to be too windy this weekend when we wanted to celebrate being open again. But next weekend, we are planning for club line racing for blazes, squibs and RCODs. We're determined, as I said, to make this happen. All I want to leave you with is I'm inside, I'm in the clubhouse and I've got a beer. Thank you.